Hi everyone, I'm Juan Pablo Ara. I'm a, a ASLD member and the vice chair for the Alcohol Associated Liver Disease Special Interest Group. Today I want to talk to you about uh, the new NAFLD name, uh, especially from the Alcohol Associated Liver Disease perspective. So first is uh, why uh, name change? And the main reason is because uh, some of the parts, especially the non-alcoholic part, is uh, stigmatizing. And, uh, we are moving away from the non from the alcoholic term, and this is not only for for NAFLD. This is all the alcohol field, and not only liver disease, but also the addiction medicine, psychiatry. Um, we are not using terms such as alcoholism or alcoholic or alcohol abuse or alcohol dependency. The new term is alcohol use disorder. Um, so that's number one, and number two is um, one of the question is why uh, are we using uh, NAFLD versus ALD as a complete, absolute different disease, although there is a spectrum. So there is some patients that are going to be uh, metabolic dysfunction associated with steatotic liver disease where they are obese or they have diabetes or they have risk factors for metabolic syndrome and other patients that does not have any of those uh, risk factors, but they drink alcohol heavily and they will fit the criteria for uh, an alcohol associated liver disease. But in the middle will be a group of patients that share uh, some features of metabolic syndrome or are overweight or insulin resistant. And also they are drinking uh, more than uh, the low risk drinking uh, but not in the in the high risk drinking. So the, all those patients that are drinking uh, in moderate amounts that doesn't fit the criteria for heavy drinking, but they have also some metabolic uh, uh, syndrome or uh, metabolic dysfunction features, they can uh, meet this criteria of uh, met ALD. So basically, we are recognizing that some of the patient will have a very clear phenotype with MASLD or ALD, but will be another group of patients in the middle that uh, have both disease and we need to treat both. So they will benefit from one side from a lifestyle, diet and exercise intervention, but on the other side for uh, reducing or completely abstaining from alcohol. So that's important. It's not uh, that MASLD is going to take over ALD, it's more than we recognize both muscle D and ALD as important uh, um, disease and in the middle there is a spectrum of patients that uh, will have a component of both. So uh, I invite you to read the publication that is uh, going to be released very soon and um, thank you very much.